All right, that's 0530. We're gonna get cracking out of here. Uh, heading over to um, St. Peter's Dome with Charlie NJ7V and uh, Dale AA70Y. So, let's get cracking. Coffee. Hopefully it's not raining over there. Been raining here kind of on and off drizzle. So we'll see what we get. CQ, CQ, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air. Just come out up on top looking toward uh, Sunrise Ski Area. Coming up on the uh, 117 turn off. Uh, boy, this is just going to be amazing when it greens up. We just started getting our rains. Uh, rain last night at my place. I think uh, Charlie might have got a little bit of rain. He was camping up here. So, looking forward to today's hike. Red Summit RF over here, goofing around with his pack, not getting yeah. this, not ready. He's yeah. like, God. I got to transfer to my bigger pack because I'm like, I got to get my rain gear and stuff in there. All right, <laughs> cool. And uh, we got Dale over here, He's AA70Y. Stuff, so. I know. Say again. He's not smart enough to bring all that, all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Charlie, get it together. <laughs> See, this, this is what really going on. You know, his videos just show you the elegant, easy parts. <laughs> really, it's a big giant mess back it's here. Just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Get off that noisy road. Boy, it's nice and damp up here. Fire danger about zero now. <laughs> took me straight up a hill, man. Direct assault. That's right. It's the only way to get it done, right? Yeah. That last comment, the last comment was for uh, Red Summit RF. You know, these newbies, they just don't know when to stop. <laughs> a little tougher for him. He just came up from about a thousand feet to 9,000, so. He's not acclimated. He's probably hurting. Way to go, Charlie! Yeah, that's a workout. Where to from here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Are you, are you taking us someplace in particular? <laughs> <laughs> Get this face, huh? <laughs> it's all about me, Charlie. The only reason why I invited you is to get some B-roll with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tell me what way you want me to go. Just keep your same same uh, heading. Same direction we're going. Same heading, yeah. Roger that. Right. Really, Dale. He wanted to do this so he could set the pace. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I do when I hike with Adam. It's like, Adam, let me get up in front. <laughs> That's a uh, 
view of Greens Peak with a massive load of uh, RF towers. It's ridiculous. But I still squeezed out 10 watt sideband communications up there and CW, but sideband was uh, no problem. I ended Oklahoma, I got a 5.9 that day. So, you've been up there, right? Yeah, it was winter than hell. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Yeah, th that time of year, it can just get unbelievable. My mat, my uh, mast was tied to a tree, and it was bent over, and the and the one leg of the uh, dipole was going. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I was just using the sloper, the K6 ARK special. Uh, I gotta finish mine. Well, you got an AK, you got a different. You, I'm, I have an infit halfway that I'm working on. Okay. Yep. All right. Here he is, a flatlander. What do you think, Charlie? Altitude sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, tips or suggestions you would give somebody who's brand new to, to uh, summits on the air. What do you think, Dale? The main thing for me is just keep it fun. I mean, this is a fun day coming up with you guys. Um, go to pretty places. Uh, yeah, maybe skip some of the ugly ones for a while, you know. Um, for me, it's not about the points. It's just just the, the new places and the, and the interesting people. And yeah, that's what it is for me. Did you have anything that you struggled with or that you, that you wished you would have known at first? Ken, the K6 HDX was my soda. Uh, Elmer, yeah. you could say. So yeah, he helped me out with some getting set up online and yeah. and uh, spots and all that. So you know, that's my yeah. number one recommendation to people uh, starting soda, is that you uh, find somebody and on your first excursion, you take an experienced person along. You can talk to them along the way. Yeah. You can uh, set up with them and you can see what they do. And it's it's a uh, it's it's good that way. There's a lot of tips and techniques that you wouldn't even imagine you need to learn. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, Chris, what about you? Um, yeah, I echo some of the same things. Uh, I, you know, came up here with you guys, not for the points, although, you know, I've got a thousand points, so I kind of got over that, that goat fever stuff. You've done this one already. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I've, I did it, yeah, just a few months ago, uh, months ago, but I love this hike. And I'll yeah. do any of the ones, like I told you, I'll do any of the ones up here again. Uh, Wishbone, this one. Um, of course, Pull Knoll is one of my favorite, Well Knoll. So, anyway. Uh, I digress. It's uh, I do it for the hiking. Um, I think for the three, I got three maybe main tips. Is one, learn how to spot yourself. That's the, yeah. Um, I didn't do that for a while, and I was watching Jerry uh, KG6 HQD one of his videos, and he was talking about that. I was like, oh wow, that's interesting, because there were a few activations I actually didn't uh, complete, get the points for anyway, and uh, so I did that and I had a literal pile up. Um. What is number two? This thin air has gotten to me. <laughs> um, let's see. All I got to do is cut. Yeah, yeah. And then come right yeah, back. Yeah, come, you come back. You know, I had I had three really good ones. <laughs> um, I'd say starting out, um, find some. I found a peak that's right by my house, and I use that as kind of a test test area for new equipment, new boots, pack backs, different radio antennas. But for your first time out, just you know, go up, set it up, learn how to set it up. Um, it's about just kind of practicing that because, you know, soda is all about setting up, breaking down. Um, well, my my goat hike was 181 times I had done that. So, and I know you've done a lot more. Um, so, like Dale said, you learn some tips and tricks just by doing. Uh, it's one of those things that you can only read so much about. You just got to get out and do it. So um, get over your fears about uh, maybe launching out. Do an easy one that's got a trail up to it. You don't have to worry so much about navigation, etc. And I think number three, uh, my personal favorite, is go to hamninja.com. And in particular, um, hamninja.com slash soda360, S-O-T-A-360. That'll put you onto my YouTube channel. Um, and it's a video series um, that I did specifically to help new hams 
or new soda um, operators learn soda. So a lot of the videos are, I had realized were the glamorous parts of you know hiking and the beauty and everything else. And it's like, nobody gets to see all the planning and preparation that you do. Um, so that's what I kind of focused on is, the first one is why do soda for activators like us that like to climb mountains, chasers if you can't, or if you're just sitting at home and you want to find other activators, why would you do that? Um, and then the next video is all about the planning aspect, which is uh, figuring out finding the soda summit, um, how to get there. So the navigating, how I do charting so that I don't get lost because I'm really good at that. And then the third one is a reference activation like we're doing today. You've probably seen Charlie do a bunch of them. Um, and then the fourth one is just kind of a wrap up and how to submit your points. There's several different ways you can upload them from your phone, etc. So it, um, my hope is that that will help a few of you guys out there. If you're into chasing, um, I did a separate video in that series as well, focused purely on chasing. There's another one that's a deep dive into navigation as well. So those would be my top three. Yeah. All right. And I recommend his, uh, his videos. I've seen them all. And so you can catch them up here. I'll uh, put a link up in the above and uh, you can uh, catch that there. So let's get going with uh, setting everything up distributing and wherever whatever we're gonna do to get going here i'm ready to get the airwaves going sounds good oh like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> all right so dale's gonna set up at the maximal peak there uh you can see him through the trees charlie went on the other side i'm gonna go this side we're all spreading out on different bands charlie's gonna start out on 60 meters uh i think dale said he's doing 40 so i'm gonna do 20 and uh 20 cw and we should all have a great time up here wow look at these trees over here i've never been over on this side it's gorgeous the tr of course that low angle sunlight is just killer the hike today was just magical because with the with the damp dirt uh there's just no sliding around Looks like we got a turkey. Yeah, a turkey. <laughs> More like a mick turkey. <laughs> All right, I'm all tuned up on uh, 20 meter. Hopefully I uh, alerted on the right peak. It's, uh, we'll, we're about to find out. So, um, actually this is maiden voyage for this new American Morse uh, Ultra Portal paddle. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, so. Yep. So it's a little bit more sensitive. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to. It's quieter. <laughs> it's like a it's like a mirrorless camera. Less uh, less slapping around.
579. Okay, let's see if we can sneak up on Dale. Is he sending some cool waves out in the air? How's it coming? Well, I got 11 on 40 meters, and then I've called CQ must be 30 times, and I haven't got one more reply. Oh, bummer. <laughs> but, <laughs> Time to go to 20. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm, uh, let's see, I got, what'd I say, 17 contacts. 17 on 20? 20 is pretty busy. Good. So good propagation over there. Yeah, I'll give that a shot now. Let me see your setup. You got a, link looks dipole. like 20 meter link dipole. Yeah. Ooh, I like, I like the uh, Anderson connectors. Yeah, That's a great so idea. Cool. I like it. So it's uh, 20, 30, and 40. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. And you got a great little setup here, too. I love the. Um, you know, I haven't tried my small fishing pole yet for this. I've done it for other stuff, but. Yeah. Dude, it's I'm going to do that. It's the only thing I've used, so it's the only thing I know. <laughs> well, he's got your little MTR. Oh my God, that thing is so cool. Yeah, tiny little battery. Light pole battery, dude. So it's simple, fits in your pocket. This rocks. You're just standing up over here using your little um, iambic paddles. Where'd you get these guys? Oh, eBay. I could get everything else. <laughs> Sweet. This is a cool setup, dude. Very. I love complex it. Complex logging system. Yeah, yeah, the here. logging system. <laughs> uh, you got to run a lot of batteries to run that baby. <laughs> yeah, I've run paper, but I've, I've, it's like I end up having to retype it in. So. Yeah. I'm used to using my phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a great setup. I love this, man. Yeah, I like the dipole because I can look at it and tell if it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's so simple. Yeah, it is. Something simple I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't sell yourself short, dude. I, you've been doing this for a while. All right, let's go check out. Is Charlie over this way? Yeah, he's right over there. Yeah. All right. I'm done with 20 when you want to okay. go to that. It was uh, pretty busy. Of course, uh, Gary and Martha are up uh, this Good. morning. Oh, yeah. I'll catch them again. So... You know, it's funny, for about a week there, I wasn't getting them. It's like, dang, especially on my uh, mountain goat summit. I wanted to make sure I got those guys. Oh, yeah. The ceremonial summit. Let's see if we can sneak up on the mountain goat. <laughs> He's pretty wary. They're, they're rare. <laughs> These mountain goats are, are, are very <laughs> rare beasts. <laughs> but here he is in his natural habitat. Oh, wow. You got to be careful, though. They'll take your arm off just like that. <laughs> You'll find them up on mountains, running dipoles and other strange <laughs> items, sending cool waves into the atmosphere, trying to make contacts. As I said, they're very rare. And they have this funny twitch in their left hand, <laughs> running some kind of strange device. But not finding anything on 10 meters. Oh, really? Huh? Very awesome. Hey. <laughs> so you run 60. How's that going? I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight contacts. So I'm activated. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. I'm happy. Awesome. I got 17 on 20. Nice. In 15 minutes. Good. So just killing it over there. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go if we need to. Dude, I'm. Switch I got all day. Okay. Um. Tell me about your setup really quick. Uh, okay, so I have, it took me a long time to get a rope in the air up here and I just hoisted up a linked dipole that I made. Check this out. That linked dipole is uh, for the higher bands. It's, uh, it's got uh, 10, 15, 17, 20, and 30, and 40 all in there. Okay. And then I had another one that I had up earlier because it had 60 on it. I actually brought both of them because I knew I was gonna work 60. Gotcha. So, yeah, I like the way you did that. And you, you, both you guys run linked dipoles. I love this, man. I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make myself a little linked dipole. They work great, I think. Are you running any unum or anything off them, or um, no, any balan? No, just no. Nobody feed line right into it. <laughs> oh. You know the joke about the balan. No. Uh, Tell us. No, no. It's, it's too long. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah, no, we, we, I don't use a balance. It's just uh, it's just from the coax, split the, the uh, shield and the uh, core, 
and then and put uh, each leg on uh, each of those and then tune it up there you go straight from a mountain goat people <laughs> that's how you get her done then you're going into a 817 17 which i've talked about what i like because i have uh, the ability to work all bands all modes and so that's why i bring it along on most of my activations that is the workhorse of of summits on the air wouldn't you say uh yes it is but it's it's getting long in the tooth i think the uh, kx2 or 3 kx3 probably is now uh i'd say the kx2 personally but yeah I'd um, one of those um but yeah that was i mean because i started with one of those and loved it <coughs> um still great radio yeah but uh then yeah. we got the mtrs yeah i got that i brought that this time i wanted to try it out maybe on one of the summits the so, MTR. so dude how did you try it today not yet what I this is a maiden voyage you got to get I, it out there hook it up i know i think i will all right, cool. I gotta, I gotta get the other antenna. Well, I know I, I can do it on this one. What, what bands haven't been worked? All right, I've run twenty. I've run forty. All right, into the MTR. So check out that small little radio. That's cool. I'm gonna use. This is the. Okay. And what bands does that do, Charlie? Twenty, thirty, forty. I'm gonna do thirty. So I've got to move all three of these. I'm just gonna. See. Use my other radio as a as a uh, table, and I'm gonna get, try my old. Uh, I haven't only used this a couple times. The and oh, you want to turn your pass. camera on? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just say uh, something all ready to roll. That's not right there. That's right there. I mean, everything new. Yeah, check out the paddles. Yeah, new paddles too, huh? Boy, this is maiden voyage for a bunch of stuff, eh? <laughs> well, I've tried the, tried the paddles one other time, but. Yeah. yeah. Today was my maiden voyage for the Ultra Porter paddles from AMR. Oh, really? Yep, and they're a lot quieter and. Cool. Now I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let me try this. See if I can just beat it in. Uh, you know, I have the same recorder, and the problem is, is when I run it through, I can't hear my side tone. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Huh. If I'm not transmitting, I hear the side tone. Huh. So. Yeah, I don't know. That's well, why you know. My videos aren't quite as clear on the uh, on the code. Let me take a look here. And let me make sure that. Let me see how it goes here. Let's see if I can hear anything. Well, I hear something. All right. So you got. But I don't. Yep. And I got that. All right. Well, let's take it to a frequency here and figure it out. To. I always like to go down to 112 or 13 usually. Okay. Yeah, I've been running 60 generally. I mean my frequency 10.11. All right, let's see. Right there. Should we just go for it or should we spot ourselves? Why don't we just go for it and see what happens? All right. Did you set on alert? That's what I mean. Without setting on alert. Just yeah, go just for go it. for it, man. I'm going to... Um, what I need to do is... For the recording, I need to send what what band I'm on, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Those are quiet, and that's because I got to match up the video with the uh, audio, and so that's I you know I have different clips and I got to make sure <laughs> which ones. Which. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's the other kind of hassle running audios. Here we go. to us you're already off to the races kxor george well done all right let's go check out dale
zero M and A. You may have noticed these guys are smooth operators. Um, both Dale and and uh, Charlie run a really quiet setup. But that's one neat thing about running CW is there's not a whole lot of racket that you're creating. Um, and so certainly when you're on a summit with other people that are trying to enjoy the, the summit as well, the, you can just kind of sit up there and, you know, be really quiet. Um, uh, no shouting into the radio or anything. And uh, you also see those guys smoothly rolling into their paddles there versus the way I do it, which is, you know, bashing away. <laughs> You know, big, big heavy ham-fisted ham, ham-fist. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go over here, back to my station, maybe get on 40 meter, and uh, and uh, see if I can work some uh, sideband for folks. I don't have cell phone service. I think Charlie does, but... Uh, I could either ask him to spot me, or I could probably just use my satellite. So let's try that. I'll get all set up here. Here's my operating position. I'm all about comfort. <laughs> I really have enjoyed um, bringing a chair and uh, setting up out here. So let's see. get set back up here I'll sit here I'm gonna wait for Charlie to come by and then I'll pack up look around no gear laying on the ground so Ohana check 17 contacts check I apologize for those of you that uh, didn't miss me today. I only ran 20 meter because uh, I wanted to uh, get a few contacts, but also uh, see how these other guys ran their stations. Pretty cool setups. And as you can see, super simple. Um, and the MTR 3B. Whew. If you're running CW, that's a sweet little rig. So, heading back up to the summit here. See if I can catch up with Red Summit RF. And that was a grouse, not a turkey. Okay, Dale, AA70Y. How'd it go? Pretty good. I made 17 contacts. I, uh, when I was on 20 meters, I had a 20 meter link disconnected and a 30 meter. I still made contacts. So you can be completely stupid and still works. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's robust. Sweet. I made a couple summit to summits in Colorado. Ah, who'd you get? KXOR and? And WA6MM. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't get any summit to summits. So oh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I may have gotten one actually, so I'll have to go back and check my look, my yeah. logs. But uh, anyway, okay. I think that rain's coming this way. Yes, sir, it is. Getting dark. Yeah. How's it coming, Charlie? Uh, when you take out a lot of stuff, you put away a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, breakdown's a little bit longer. Two, two radios, two antennas. It's taking a little bit longer. If there was only one, I'd be done. I didn't want to get left behind, so I, I double timed it, dude. <laughs> you didn't want to be the one be, everybody was watching, huh? Yeah. All right, we're packed up and going. All right, go well, ahead. Success. Success big time. This is great. I got 17. Sounds like Dale got 17 contacts. How, how'd you do, Charlie? I don't know, about 20 or so. All right, fully activated. Yeah, Chris didn't kill us, so. <laughs> but only barely. <laughs> We'll do the fast ascent and see if, see if we can't get somebody to face plant. Yeah. 
So I've never kind of come up from this side, that's nice. I've never worked the summit like this. It's really actually a pretty big summit. You know, you could come all the way down here. Yeah. So we had good separation Holy from up shit. here. Look at the rain ahead of us. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's raining about three miles from us. So we might get wet. Might oh, have to well. change our uh, double summit plan. Well, uh, rain front there. Heading up Whiting Knoll. This road's a bit of a climb. Yes, it is. I read some in RF. That guy never stops. He's a mountain goat. <laughs> Onward ho. I'll turn the camera off so you can stop. <laughs> Alright. November Julia 7 Victor on the left. AA 7. Oscar Yankee on the right. Just summoning uh, Whiting Knoll. Whiting Knoll. Here we are. Hey, it's a nice Dueling cameras. Oh, I, got two cameras. I like the weather. I'm, I'm good with this. All right. This isn't bad at all. Good well, thing. no thunder. No thunder, and it's not pouring. So yeah. We're good. Awesome. Yeah. I still smell that tree stump there. Smoke. Yeah. But uh, it's not a huge summit either. What uh, do you think? Uh, uh, so, what, uh, three quarter mile? Yeah, something like that. From right. where, where we parked, another probably three quarter for for Dale. So if you park at the bottom, uh, we had four wheel drive, so uh, able to get up here even with our city tires. Yeah, Dale will ride back with us, one of us, still a bit. <laughs> yeah, and hop in the back seat. Fold myself here. Mm. I didn't get the chair out because um, I thought it was going to be. I'd have to pack up quickly for rain. It was drizzling when I got here, but uh, as Dale predicted, it kind of moved on through. So we're looking good here. I'm going to grab my HT and let the guys know I'm done with 20. So hang on just one second. Ay, ay, ay. Hey. And you'll push the button on the tailgate here. <laughs> Just that's, <laughs> that's my signature. <laughs> okay, so we finished it. We're done. Uh, we just uh, went up to the top of Whiting Knoll, and uh, we had a great time up there. We all kind of split the bands up and did that. So we've got uh, 20 points under our belt. Yeah. The two of us do. Yeah. Uh, Chris was. <laughs> just yeah, our I've guy. already activated, but uh, I, had, I had a blast. I really did. It was a lot of fun hiking with you guys. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. And uh, you know, awesome. beautiful country. Yeah, yeah, it's a good place. I agree. So uh, I uh, appreciate the, you guys coming along and me allowing me to come along and and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the uh, on the videos, right? Yeah, catch you on the videos and the next summit. Yeah, we'll do another summit, huh? <laughs> All right, Red Summit RF. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't uh, don't forget to like and, and subscribe uh, to Doug subscribe Red Summit RF, right? <laughs> and you can subscribe right up there and then there's more videos right here <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> so an awesome hike with uh charlie and dale um a lot of fun just really really enjoyed it uh beautiful weather it was uh, drizzling rain there for a little bit um but dale looked at the radar thought it was gonna basically go through so it did no thunder so and it, it uh, stopped rain and just a really really pleasant uh, temperatures and the whole whole shebang so just waiting for dale to walk down he didn't couldn't bring his pickup up he's only got two wheel and it's just muddy enough to where you really do need four wheel drive to get up in there so uh just uh yeah good times so all right we're gonna wrap this up 
And uh, just a shout out to uh, Chasers. Thank you very much for uh, chasing all of us. It's a great time. And um, if you want to learn how to do Summits on the Air, I did a series. <clears throat> I did a series on Soda 360, a complete 360 look at Summits on the Air, starting from why do it, um, and then the planning that goes into it, how to pick a peak, how to chart a course. Um, and then a reference activation just to show, hey, this is how you could activate. Um, and then kind of a final wrap-up uh, episode on how to upload your points. Additionally, you'll also find a deep dive into charting and mapping with all trails. And um, there's also a specific uh, uh, episode just for chasers. So if you're interested in doing summits on the air, um, that might be a good resource for you to go out and check out. So thanks a lot for watching and 73. Okay, before I roll the credits, one more thing. I wanted to talk quickly about SoCal Soda Fest. Go to SoCal Soda, S-O-C-A-L-S-O-T-A.com and uh, check out that site because on August 1st and 2nd, there's a SoCal Soda Fest. Um, we're inviting all hams anywhere uh, to participate, uh, get up on a mountain and uh, try to contact us for a little summit to summit. Um, if you can't do that and you're in the SoCal area, um, it'd be great if you could monitor some of the two meter frequencies that are listed on that website. And uh, if you're not in the SoCal area, uh, get on sodawatch.com and uh, see if you can't chase some of the guys that are going to be on soda summits. I believe at the same time, uh, there is also going to be some, uh, Colorado people doing the same thing. So this should be a lot of fun. Um, and it's a, a good introduction to, to summits on the air if you've never done that before. So thanks for watching. Let's roll the credits.